Hi, welcome to update 3 of the USS Rio Grande from AMT. Um, before we get started, i just got to say, um, I've been recording these over the last couple of days, so, and cutting it. So the um, continuity may be a little bit out, but the actual timeline will, will be the same. So each step process will be as as I'm making it, so the, the painting and so forth. I've actually got on to starting to light it now, but you won't see that until update 4, possibly 5. Uh, so this is update 3. Um, update 2, just to recap, was um, a bit of clean up, uh, dealing with the, the plastic parts and so forth. So update 3, we are going to be starting the painting of the nacelles and struts of the nacelles and um, getting it all ready for uh, when it comes to lighting up the nacelles. But we'll go into that later on. Well, there's only one last thing to say and that's um, let's get started on day three. Now, I was going to um, start the painting, but before we do that, we have to prep it uh, for for the, the light. So what we're going to do is we take the side supports here, we dry fit them, so it goes like that, and it just goes on like that, so you get the general idea there. Put it up, slide that around, so we want a hole. Say so around about here, mark it off, and just drill a bit of a hole. Now, at this stage, the hole doesn't have to be that big. That's on. So now, now that you're in that position, put your drill bit through again. Once you made your mark, there we go. So we've got a hole, got a hole there. Mark it up again. And just check here. Just check to make sure it fits. It was the wrong side. That doesn't matter. Here we go. So obviously I just draw it on the wrong side, but that's okay because you needed to put the hole in that one anyway. If you want to look at where the hole is going to go for inside. There. And there. So you're drilling into the main hole now. Oh no. And also, you're not going to see this hole when it's all closed up. Your little hole there. And of course, your little hole there. And all you do for the wires, put your knife in. Like that. You want to make it bigger. And just go out and twirl it around. Like that until you get the diameter that you wish and that will probably be big enough for a couple of cables to go through and do the same again so we want to start painting the paint I'm going to use is um, Rebel Aquacolor number 76 and this is going to be for the base um, I'm confident enough just moist in my brush. I'm confident enough not to um, undercoat this um, because the inside worked out rather well without the undercoat. Um, and I generally undercoat if I'm painting yellow on something 
um, I'll use a white end cloak for that. Or if I'm doing, uh, if it's going to be silver or a metal finish, um, I'll, I'll do a black undercoat for that. But um, well, grey, I tend not to bother to have your dress. So, get a flat brush and just put light coats. Around. Yeah, that's going on really nicely. So again, I'll need two, perhaps three coats in total to use very thin coats and build up the colour and to brush in one direction wherever you can and when you put your other coat on turn it around, you brush in the opposite direction now I know this can be done in seconds with an airbrush and I do have an airbrush but I tend not to use it So well, that's the first thing caught on now. And what I would do, as I say, to eliminate any brush marks on that, I would then, again, I've hardly got any any paint on this because it's still damp. I will brush that way, and that eliminates the brush thoughts. Just bring them back now. So that's the base colour of the model going to be done. Um, so I'm going to get to now doing the other nacelle and um, doing the holes and up for it and then painting it and I'll come back and show you when that's all done. So next we're, we're going to do the contrast and work on the nacelle. So we're using a slightly darker grey on this one. This is um, uh, just your normal grey for aqua colour, number 57. So again, paint in one direction. As you can see, the different colours start to come through. So I'll just do one more to show you. So you can see now the um, different colours there, there and there. And I'll be carrying on through all, all these. Um, from the panels and so forth. After that I'll be um, painting the yellow and other bits of detail on it. So we'll, I'll go and get that done now. Right, that is all the contrast colours on. Um, so next is to put on a bit of yellow here. I'll be using number 15 of the aqua colour again it's just one direction so it's going to go like that I'm using all matte colours it doesn't matter if you gloss, satin, silk, whatever you've got at hand because it's generally always put on a varnish anyway and you can turn it into a gloss finish or satin finish or whatever you want so that's I mean I'll, I'll need a couple of coats to for it to stand out so I'll carry on with that and then I'll get back to it so that's the yellow one as you can see there um, now I will be building up the colours so different shades of grey sort of blue, light blue, red different shades of yellow and, and things like that, just building up the colours and hopefully trying to make it stand out a bit. Um, just a little thing before I carry on, I just started this up. I was looking for a blue, a greyish blue for some of the detailing and I couldn't quite find one so I made one up. So this is the blue colour I've, I've came up with, you'll see it here. And that's made up with cobalt blue. So some three acrylics, a little bit of silver, some pearlized black, and uh, white. I've put the white away, so I haven't got that here. But and this is the colour I've came up with. Um, as you can see, I've painted it all up now. 
uh, various colors, yellows, white, red, uh, blue, and, and so on. That's going to be it for these, I think. Um, there's a bit more work to be done on it, but that's going to be done when it's in situ, really. You know, it's got to be uh, varnished and uh, dirtied up and things like that. So, the next stage is going to be assembling part of it as well as uh, putting on the lights for the walk. Now, I've decided not to put any lights in this bit. I was going to, as I said before, and uh, smoke screen the window though. But I, I found that with the windows, with the smoke paint, I would, with the lights inside, I noticed that it was still seeing too much detail and I really don't want to scratch build an interior. I don't have the time to do it really. <coughs> so I, I'm, I'm not going to put any lights on it. So what I've done uh, is I've taken the um, the glass panels, um, taken a bit of the smoke off and uh, just painted it gloss black so they will be blackened out like that. I'll just move it over. There we go, like that. So when that's done. So that needs another coat. In a little while. So the plan now is to start thinking about putting the lights in. Um, I'll show you the drive fitted before I go away and get all my, my stuff for that. Fitness around. That's, that's that drive fitted there. The um, the blue glass paddle goes there. And I'll be putting a light strip in there. And the same on the other side. So only the nacelles are going to be lit up. So let me get the box now. <coughs> Excuse me. So you, you you're only going to see that bit lit up. None of this will be lit up. Just that bit. But I think that'll be quite effective. Um I don't know whether it's a mistake doing that or not, but I'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. So that's it for now. I've got to have a bit of clear up and get my my lights and things up. So I'll see you for that step. <coughs>